Hi, I'm Tom Workman of Workman Outfitters, and today we're going to continue our series on inline spinnerbaits. It's been a while since I've posted on this, but today we're going to talk about a clevis, what that is, and why you need to know what that is so you can have success on the water. So stay tuned. <music> So before we get into why clevis size is important, let's just give a quick recap of what an inline spinner blade is. This is an inline spinner bait. Typically what you have are one or two blades of various sizes. You have a wire frame, you have a skirt, and you have some hooks. This right there is the clevis. The clevis is attached to the wire frame. As you retrieve the inline spinner bait through the water, these blades spin around the wire frame and that's what the clevis does. It helps these blades spin around that wire frame. Now the size of the clevis is important. Typically you're going to want either a number nine or a number six clevis. That's what we use with ours. So the higher the number of the clevis, the slower the blade rotation. So the lower the number of the clevis, the faster the blade rotation. Why does that matter and is it, why is it important you know the number and the size of the clevis? So typically we like to use, in colder water conditions, we like to use a larger number clevis. We want to slow down that blade spin as it goes through the, as we retrieve it and it goes through the water column. Typically when water is cold, fish are sluggish, they're not going to move very fast, the bait fish aren't going to move very fast, so you want to mimic how bait fish move in those different type of water conditions. As that water warms up, we're going to drop our clevis size down to increase the speed of the rotation of those blades. As the water warms up, the bait fish become more active, they're going to move around more, they're going to send out faster vibrations through that water column, which is going to pick up, predators will pick up on that vibration. So you want to try to mimic based upon water temperature, either you want to have a slower spin on your clevis or you're going to want to have a faster spin on your clevis. Hey, if you like what you heard, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumb down. If you have any questions, comment below. And if you like what you heard, subscribe to our YouTube channel.